Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorials from Raj Tech Trainer. Please subscribe and share the videos on this channel. To subscribe to uh, this channel, hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's session, we are going to cover how to set up Redmine and uh, we will create a new project uh, in Redmine and how to enable a REST API in Redmine. Okay, to begin with, what is Redmine? Redmine is a popular open source bug tracking tool uh, which is uh, used by many companies. Uh, this bug tracking tool also supports REST protocol. So we will download and install Redmine. Okay, you go to bitnami.com slash stack slash redmine and uh, slash installer. I will put this link in the notes as well. Okay, once you are in this page, you go to, since I'm using Windows, I go down and here I will download for Windows. Okay, once you click on this, it will download it. Uh, I have it already downloaded. The installation here is uh, very straightforward. Uh, we will go through the installation first. Double click on the executable to start installing. It will ask you, it seems you have uh, antivirus running, you click OK, yes to continue. Click on next. Okay, you need to have all of these. Um, if you want to install Git, it is okay. Uh, if you don't, then you can uh, disable this. Okay, select a folder. Okay, you need to remember this name. I'll give it as Bitnami. You need to remember this uh, login name and the password because this is what you're going to use um, to log in for the first time as administrator. This is also administrator. Okay, click on next. Yes. Next. Okay, it will take some time. I will get back to it uh, once uh, it is completely installed. Okay, during the installation, it will ask you, you know, there will be Windows uh, security alert. Uh, you just say allow access and then continue. Okay, once it, uh, okay, once it finishes uh, uh, installing, uh, it will ask you to launch Redman application. Click on finish to finish it. By default, this Bitnami manager will open. Yes. Okay. And um, <clears throat> you need to verify that all the services are working or not. So you need to go to manage servers and ensure that all of them are running. So this will ensure that your, uh, you know, your uh, uh, installation is successful. Okay, after it is done, you go to application and click on access Redmine. By default, you should be seeing this page uh, wherein it has got home, projects, help, sign in and register. So once, the, once you have this page, the, that means the installation is successful and you are able to connect to the database. 
click on sign in and use the uh, the login and the password which you have uh, used while installing okay so now we are successfully logged into redmine what we need to do is we need to create a project click on projects select new project link give the project name and click on create and continue now your first project is created successfully click on administration go to users so uh, we have one user which is uh, configured at the time of installation who is also an administrator because we will be fetching the users as well as the projects in the next session the next thing uh, we need to do is we have to enable the rest api on this installation of redmine to do that you need to go to administration click on settings click on api tab select enable rest web services and click on save okay this will enable the rest api service on this particular installation of redmine okay that is the end of today's session that is the end of today's session thanks for watching the video have a good day and happy learning